People with back pain often cannot do things like this, sitting in a squat, especially for several minutes, doing guarding work or playing with their kids. But as a kid, you were easily able to do this. So over time, by not squatting, by sitting too much, we lose this ability. If you don't use it, you lose it. As simple as that. What happens is you do compensation movements with your back in everyday life. This puts more stress on your back instead of picking things up with your legs or going down into your knees. And in order to do that, you need good mobility. You need to have good range of motion in all your joints to keep your body upright and not to use your back for everything. So let's do some of the best hip mobility exercises. Number one is 90-90. You wanna bring your knees down. On this side, I can feel more tension, more pulling. That means I have some disbalance here and you wanna keep your upper body straight. If you cannot do that, you, you can use pillows. You can put pillows under the knees and then go from side to side. If you cannot do that very well due to back pain, I suggest you start off easy, going in this position with or without pillows, and then slowly going forward, back and forth, or you can stay and hold for a nice static stretch. The second exercise is you can go back and forth, do a nice hip opener, go back, get a nice stretch in the hammies, and go forth and back. Third exercise is you wanna walk forward with the hips. That means I'm trying to lift my hip, and then I walk forward, and then I can walk back again. This will give nice hip activation. As you can see, I'm not swaying with my upper body, okay? My upper body is straight. I'm trying to lift the hip like this, and then moving back and forth, or walking back and forth on the butt. Another exercise, it's a little bit harder. You stay in a squat position or get low as possible. Then you do hip openers one side at a time. Bring the hand on the inside of the knee and press that knee out to the side while maintaining a flat foot or as flat as possible. Because if your foot is lifting like this, you're actually compensating, right? And you wanna get some good ankle mobility in as well. So mobility in all the joints is super important to avoid compensation movements with the back. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And one more hip exercise is you stay in this front position and then you bring the right knee in towards the left heel and the left knee in towards the right heel. Notice how I'm not turning my upper body because that would also be a compensation movement, right? I want to have all my joints be able to move freely and that's why I try to stay still. My body, upper body, my chest is facing you and left and right. This is super hard, but you can start off a little bit higher and then just do this. And over time, you'll go down further and further. If you cannot go down, make sure that you're free here on the hip flexors. One way to do that is the couch stretch. For that, you can grab a chair and then put your foot on the chair or to the wall, or you can just hold it like this. You can grab your ankle and then stretch out the front. By stretching out the front, this will give your hip a lot more freedom to move and to go down all the way. So these are some of the best hip exercises that you can do to get a stronger back.